YouTube. Uh, something different today. We're talking about sports. See me, I'm a sports guy. I played football all my life, played basketball all my life. Pretty much love sports. Sports to me is everything. If you are a guy and you're not into sports, man, come on, what are you doing with yourself? Uh, I know nowadays people, you're, you're into the cell phones, you're into girls, but I mean, sports helps you with all that stuff. Uh, talk about basketball, guys. I rarely talk about sports because, you know, uh, people have their own differences and their ideas and they put their own two senses in it. And today's going to be my two senses. And I can tell you one thing, guys. Between the Cavaliers, I wanted to be OKC, but the Golden State Warriors. So it's the Golden State Warriors and the Cavaliers playing for this championship. Last year, I think Golden State got a little lucky. The reason why I say a little lucky is because we all know a couple people was hurt over there in Cleveland. If those people was not hurt for a long period of time, I think Golden State would have lost last year. Simple fact that I don't think if they had to worry about LeBron, Love, and Kyrie at the same time, I think they would have got dominated during the stretch of the game. Um, don't get me wrong. Golden State is an amazing team. The best team I have ever seen in the life, my entire life of watching basketball. The best team, period. Um, I think it's better than some of the Lakers teams, some of the Bulls teams, some of the Celtic teams, some of the Spurs teams of the last 10 to 15 years. Easily, this is the best team over the last 15 years ever, other than, I say, the Jordan franchise, when Jordan, not franchise, but the Jordan teams in the 90s. I think, even though they got a better record of them, I really can't say that this team can beat the Bulls team between the 95 and 90, so was it 96, 90, 96, 97 year, I think it was. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. I don't remember the top of my, my head, but come on. You really think this shooting, this three-point shooting can stop that physical attribute team from the 90s? Mm -mm. Sorry, this team is nowhere near as physical as those 90s teams. And I'm all for the three points. I am, when I play basketball, I love shooting threes. Man, give or take, I'm not the best player ever. Of course, and I'm not in the lead. Um, so what, why would you take, you know, information from me? But I'm just letting you know that I, that's all I used to like to do, shoot threes. So, of course, I'll probably attend to, like, the three-point shooting team of the uh, Golden State Warriors. Um, but in this case, I think it's going to go to f six games. Cavs win it at six uh, by, a, I'm going to say a blowout, at least 15 points. The Cavs are going to win their games by 15 points. Well, the game six by 15 points against uh, the Cavs versus the um, Golden State Warriors. Damn, I can't even think right now. But listen, the reason why I say that is because LeBron is hungry. Excuse me. Really, really hungry. Yes, he already has two championships. He wants to be the best player of all time. And he needs to beat the best team of all time when it comes down to record. If you want to be the best player of all time, you need to beat the best. And for him to lose to Golden State again, the king would not be a king no more. LeBron James will be dethroned, and Curry and Thompson and that whole team will be the new kings. The reason why I say this is because LeBron, he dominated the NBA for the last 10 years. I'm going to say, mm, not 10 years. I say 10 years. <laughs> give or take. He's he been the most dominating force the NBA have ever saw since Jordan and Kobe. There's no one that's one person that dominate another team like him. He is the strongest thing, the best thing since Kobe and Jordan. 
Who you have that's better than them too? Nobody. The only person that's close to it is LeBron. I don't want to say LeBron is a Jordan or Kobe because <laughs> he got a long way to go to even think about being in that category. I don't care if he gets another ring. He could be at three rings. He's still not in the category, but he is the closest as of now to be a dominating force as those two guys were for those teams. Because you take Jordan out, the Bulls, we saw what they did. They didn't win squat the year they was Jordan wasn't with them. Uh, take Kobe out of the Lakers, which we never saw, but I'm sure if you take Kobe out of the Lakers in their prime, they would have not won those championships even with Shaq. Kobe was the man. Jordan was the man. Just like LeBron, if you take LeBron out of the Cavaliers, that team, I'm sorry to love uh, to, to everyone that's on that team. J.R. Smith, this is everybody. I don't feel like getting to names. Everybody on that team, you will not be a championship contend, contending team. You will not. You'll maybe make the playoffs, and that's a maybe. LeBron carries teams on his back. He brings those teams better. He went to Miami, did that there with a great three-headed monster over there. One chips. Could have had a should have had a third one there. Should have had freak probably a fourth one if he'd have kept on going. He'd have probably had a fourth or a fifth playing in Miami. But he chose to come back to Cleveland to win that hometown of his. I guess hometown. His hometown of his a championship. He really wants to win that to, to give them a championship. Yes, he went to the conference finals. He did all that, but he didn't win a ring. He didn't get that ring. So I guarantee you guys he's going to win it this year in six. He's going to win by 15 points. He's going to show dominance over this team he's going to play on Thursday. He's going to show dominance. He's going to be the dominant threat. He's going to be the differentiator in this uh, best out of seven. Quote, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong, but I just have a good feeling right now that he's going to be so dominant, so hungry, so strong in the paint that they're not going to be able to do anything with them. And forget about anybody else on the Cavaliers team. I know they're all hungry. I know they all want to win it. I know they want to be the champions. They all want to do it. But if LeBron doesn't show up, and destroy go to state from the jump then we're going to go to seven to four seven to six games but the opposite and go to state's going to win i say lebron's going to win only if he averaged 30 points and being dominating on double doubles inside threats have to be vicious got to be on 100 his three-point shots gotta be over 40 percent you're not over 40% shooting, bro, in the threes over the last next seven games. You're not going to win, bro. You under 40, forget about it. You got to get 30 points, and your three-point shots got to be at least 50% of the time making. You maybe make two out of four or four out of eight. If you're making 10 threes in a game, bro, and you only make two, bro, stop. No more shooting threes. Go into the paint. Go hard. Dunk on them. Let them know. Who is the king? Because if you want to be crowned this year, you got to go against the best team that ever played basketball, quote unquote, to everyone else because of the record. You want to be the best, bro, you got to go beat them. You got to go sh punch them in the mouth, dunk on everybody, let them know. Don't shoot no threes. Don't. No, bro. You get the ball and you're running into that court and you go to the layup, make that layup a dunk. Smash anybody that's under you. Let them know who you are. You're the king. You're the best player in our generation. And probably the best player that ever played that position. If you keep on playing the way you are. LeBron, listen, bro. You got it. You got it. And for Curry, if you want to win and you want to be the next king, the next big thing to ever happen in basketball, do not play like you play four, game four and five in OKC. You play like that, and you got to worry about Thompson, relying on Thompson. I don't know how good he's going to be for every game. You got to cover your back. If you don't play 
If you play like four or five, you're going to have a long, long, or very short championship game. If you want to win, bro, listen, you better man up. Don't only shoot threes, bro. We know you got that. Show how creative you can be. Get into the paint. Do those layups. You better score over 30 points a game if you think about you. Want, if you even want to beat this team you're going to play on Thursday. So I'm going with, with game six with LeBron and the Cavaliers versus uh, Clay Thompson because I think he deserves the MVP of the playoffs if they win. Clay Thompson and the Golden State Warriors. Sorry, Steph. You need a man up. Start killing it again like you always have that I know of. If you want to win this year, you better not play like you played against OKC. Y'all barely won against that team. Barely. Really, really barely. I don't know how y'all won. I don't I don't know if it was pure will out of Clay Thompson. But he won it for y'all. If y'all win it this year, he needs to be the MVP. I'm saying it right now. If y'all win this year, I don't care how good you do in the finals, the MVP goes to Clay Thompson. Because if it wasn't Clay Thompson, y'all would not be in the championship game this coming Thursday. Sorry, y'all have been over four or five days ago. Y'all would have been going home mad as hell. And it would have been seeing LeBron versus my, one of my favorite players. That's um, Durant. But right now, you got lucky. Now show LeBron that why you are becoming the next big thing. All right, guys. This is Super Tank. Please like, rate, subscribe. I'm sorry. I was more of a rant than uh, actually had notes or anything like that. It was just a rant. Pure rant. Talking about uh, what team I like. And I'm going for LeBron. I don't know about y'all. LeBron, win this championship, bro. Uh, um, you're not my favorite team. You're not my favorite player ever. But I really want you to win it for that hometown. And uh, hopefully you do. You deserve it. This is Super Tank. Please like, rate, and subscribe. It helps a bunch of people. If I get over the next three videos, I gotta upload it. If I get a lot of a lot of likes and I get about a thousand more subscribers, I will announce in a giveaway for something nice. So if you like, rate, subscribe, share my last three videos that I uploaded, including this one. So the K7 unboxing as well as the J7, I think it's. J10, the, the K10 and the J7. If you sus you subscribe, you like, you share, give me about a thousand subscribers or a thousand likes on each video. By the time I get another thousand subscribers, I'll be giving out something nice for you guys. So first, you gotta give me those likes, give me those shares, show me all those likes and shares and subscribes. Give me that thousand, and then I'll announce it on a video, my next video, what I'll be giving away. So, stay tuned, guys. Super Tank, and I'm out. Peace.